Greetings and salutations. I know it's been a while. I uh, made a lot of progress on the hat, hutch. Um, I did a lot off camera because it was real tedious work. Um, cutting up all kinds of pieces with my handy chop saw right here. I'm doing real small pieces, which if you haven't used a ch chop saw, I wouldn't recommend doing it unless you're really experienced with a chop saw, with my miter saw, which I am. I've been using one of these for like 10 years. It's one of them, besides my drill, it's the uh, other piece of uh, uh, power tools that, um, the other power tool other than my drill that I really know how to use. Um, so. Let's get a close up. This is the back of the hutch. I put what I call teeth in so that these dividers can go in. And I've, I've put them on the front and the back of the, this top. And I took the top completely off to do it. This is temporarily, the top is put back on, but this is the middle shelf here is put in with uh, just temporary blocks but I got things all blocked off so I'm putting these teeth in here now my drill doesn't really reach well I was able to do this one but it's at an angle and it doesn't look great um, I'm gonna use some glue to glue these in and then I'm gonna take this shelf down and then I'm going to screw them in better and apparently hmm let's see we got screw here and a screw here um, I gotta redo that too. And I've been doing it by just using a sacrificial piece of, of wood um, down here. Um, I realized that this, this uh, offset bit, it's too, it's too large for these little bitty screws I'm using. However, if you just do the piece that you're, that you're mounting, and then screw it in place, you don't have a problem. It's no big deal that the hole's a little on the large side. Um, so that works out really well. So I've been using the sacrificial piece of wood to do all my drilling with. And every once in a while, of course, the drill catches. The next thing I know, you get it spinning around and ripped out of your hand. Uh, yeah, wear gloves. Gloves, very important. And uh, yeah, it was just, they were just spinning around but yeah we're gonna glue these in real quick while you're watching and then um, I'm gonna use hot glue um, and I'm gonna use hot glue for some of the pieces that are going down here too basically I got everything cut out and it was pretty fairly tedious it would have been hours and hours of video and I don't have enough room on my video card or my camera or my phone so I figured hey I would just show you the finished product, or when I was close to finished. Let's move this out of the way so you can watch me do some gluing really quick. Hopefully it works. I bought this glue gun at Walmart. Um, it was a little bigger than the one we had that was like 30 years old, so I figured I'd upgrade and get a newer one. Just a little dab of glue here and stick it in place. Careful with hot glue, it will burn. Ah, Jesus, excuse me. Yeah, don't touch certain parts of the gun apparently either because hot. And apparently I'm nearing the end of well, this is a really fresh glue stick. I just started, but you need a second glue stick to push the first one through, and this is the first time I've ever used this gun. So let me go get another glue stick. I'll be right back.
I got Phoebe keeping me company. Thanks for waiting. So if you haven't used glue gun before, these uh, this one was like I think ten dollars or something at Walmart. Pretty cheap. When you get close to the end of one stick and you can't go any further, you shove another stick in. I gotta wait. Up oh, there's the glue. Came out pretty fast. I got it on high. Let me turn it to low. Maybe that'll be better. It doesn't take long for hot glue to dry. And I really haven't done that much with hot glue. I was fixing a, a cat post with it. Putting, putting a rope on it, back on a cat post that the cat destroyed. The rope. And uh, that worked pretty good. I ended up getting pieces of glue on me. I heard of it, but... It's not that bad, but you gotta, like I said, just be careful. Just a dab, I'm only adding a dab or so. And when you pull away, it kind of spider webs a little bit, so be careful you don't get some on your hands. But the, I had a small one that my wife had, I was using, and it was ancient. It was like 20 to 30 years old. And... I thought it was time to upgrade. It was a real small one and it still works, but you know, for 10 bucks, why not just get a new one? And, you know, I'm still gonna use the old one. We still have glue sticks for it, it still works. But I figured get a new one. I'm gonna pull this out here so that, of course I didn't make one for every one of these. That was kind of the point is that these are going to be put in and out whenever my wife figures out how exactly she wants to do her organizing. Most of these are two, two inches. She wanted a couple fives, so I got two, two, five, 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 two, 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 two and this is what was left over, which was three. This way she can make these, these things any size she wants, almost. I mean, within two inches. You know, you got a four inch cubby now, now you'll have a six inch cubby. Or you can have a five inch cubby, or you can have a two inch cubby, or you can have a three inch cubby, you know. Um, so, what I'm doing, what I did to get these, and these are, these were artifacts of the, the ones that are here are on the two by four, and they're a lot wider than these. These were artifacts of the one by three that I was working on. I used this one by three, and after I was done, with this distance, there was this left. Well, on the back, I really don't want to impede too much of the space in the back. Um, and I'm not putting any in the front because that'll just get in the way. So these are just an artifact of cutting out these bigger pieces. So they're about, they were the same size already. I was gonna cut a whole bunch more and I'm like, wait a minute, I really don't want these to be that deep. I did these because it didn't really matter with a two by four, I just made it the, the width of a two by four. Yeah, this, well, the depth of the 2x4. So, this is all going to go, and I just made sure that they matched up by putting them on top and bottom like this. And I had this flipped over when I put all these on the screws. Now, I should have just glued them like I'm doing right now first, because, boy, this is pretty easy. And you just need a dab of glue. This glue gun's working pretty good, too. It's got a high and a low. When I had it on high, the glue was just kept rolling out of it. And I think if you need an application where you need a lot of glue, that's probably a great idea to have a high or low switch on your glue gun. But, man, this is working solid. I probably don't need to screw them. But, I am just for, just because I was planning on it and so they won't come out later because then you know glue might not hold as well we'll see just verify that this is the right size and it is and that's where I'm gonna put it so I'm just gonna put another glab glob glob glab of glue a little glob will do you Brill cream old commercial 
Uh oh, I just said something that's, well, hopefully I'm never gonna be uh, monetized anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I can just cut that out in video later when I learn how to edit, which I haven't done yet. Okay, that's it. And now I gotta fix this piece, which I, uh, uh, I showed you earlier, a uh, screw here and a screw here. Um, what was I thinking? I don't know. I'm going to use this edge that looks better. I'm going to take my drill, try not to make this thing... Again, I'm using the party drill to do my drilling because... It's got a lot of torque, and it's not as hard on the drill, I would imagine. Oh, let's see. Before we glue that one in place, we really need to put a thing in. All right. Let's just verify that this is correct. And the reason I'm putting one on the back as well is because it wouldn't hurt if I cut this down a bit. And this is real, I'm really close to the blade and it's made me kind of... <laughs> really tedious cutting, uh, real close, but I said I'd use this drill, I mean that that saw for like a decade. Not this particular one, but a miter saw. So, I feel pretty safe. I was a little um, timid with it and took my hand away while it was cutting and the piece of wood flew off and hit my hand in my face. And yeah, you can't be too timid. You gotta be, you gotta be mindful, but at the same time you gotta be firm with it or a block of wood is going to go flying off because of all the RPMs involved. That's something to keep in mind. Okay, we're almost done here. Now I'm going to take the top off. Once I take the top off, I'm going to screw these in place. Now the reason I'm, not the top, but this middle temporary shelf. I did that so I could get all my measurements right. I put it in temporarily. This piece doesn't want to go in. Some of these, they need to be sanded down as my wife pointed out. Um, let me see. So some of these go in easier than others. Some of these teeth are a little closer than they should be, too. There we go. So I'm shoving them through. I mean, I could adjust these teeth by, because they're not glued in, most of them aren't glued in, I can always, you know, I can always See if we can persuade this. I can always take the piece off and trim it. Nope, that's not at all what I wanted to happen. I kind of have to do that with that one. Well, before I mess with that anymore, let's just see if these two will fit. end piece in because we know that will fit. Excellent. I was really worried when I got this new gun and the glue stick went almost all the way inside, but that's because you always the second the, the the new piece you put in butts up against it and pushes it through. Um, 
I the glue gun I was using before, of course, did not already was used many times. So let's cut this a little bit. a couple inches from my hands, I would say do not do what I'm doing unless you've used this, a miter saw a lot. Miter saws are, I mean, it's a power tool. You can, you can cut your fingers off easy. I've got great respect for my power tools though, and I uh, tend to be very cautious don't want to end up losing a finger. Now let's see if I can get this out of here. I need to sand this down. See, it might be easier just to sand the edges here where it goes in down a little. Man, more of the top than the bottom. Okay. It's a little too tight. But the reason I'm putting them on the back as well, on the backs, on the bottom, is otherwise these things tend to wiggle a little bit, but, but by putting some in the back, you have some pressure to keep it back here. And that's it, that was quick. These things are already rock solid in here. Okay. So, my wife's going to paint all of these tomorrow, hopefully. And I have not said her name, and I'm never going to. You see how opposites attract, and I want to be on video, and I want the world to see me? Kind of an attention hound? Yeah, well, my wife's not. So, to make her, to keep, not make her, but to keep her happy, I'm not going to mention her. A lot of people know her name, and you can find her name easy enough, but I'm not going to mention it. So, she's the wife not to be named. I'll be right back. I'm going to come back. Plus, it's a big joke that I don't know my wife's name. She keeps saying, do you know my name? Because I call her the wife, even to her. <sighs> That's just the way it is. She's my wife. So I call her the wife. I don't think she ever calls me the husband. That would seem strange. Maybe she should. Anyways, that's done. I'm going to take this thing down. And then I'm going to screw these pieces in. Just to give them that extra strength. And it'll also go in with the... Uh, you know, it'll look like everything else. It'll be um, similar. It'll be all, everything's all done the same way. I should have glued them in. Ah, eh, nah, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm going to move this. So we're really getting close to final assembly. Um, hopefully this week I will have it done. My wife's going to paint it so we can... Uh, and then I'll put the final assembly together. I'm going to turn it around and show you before I finish here. And I've been saving all these artifact pieces. It's a good thing I did because then I was able to make these thin ones without having to cut more. They're already cut to size, basically. Uh, save your artifacts because you never know when you need a piece. And if you're a MacGyver person like I am, you just tend to find what you need with what you've got lying around the house. I've done a lot of MacGyvering, and boy, is it fun. And it all works because if you have enough stuff lying around, you have options. I'm going to put this here for now. Okay. Now, I'm going to move this, turn this around again. Well, before I turn it around, 
I'm going to undo the screws from this side. There's staples holding it in too, so hopefully it won't fall right down. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. And these, again, are artifacts that I use from the cutting process. It's really nice to have them. You never know when you need a little block of wood for something. Of course, I've been burning a lot of them too, but that's when they're pieces of 2 by 4 These pieces of one by 4 If I were to do this again, I would have built this whole thing out of one by 4 except for these uprights. The pocket holes, I don't think they're way too thin for that to, for that to work. I don't know. It might work. I'm going to have to experiment with that sometime. If so, I'm going to do a lot more 1x4s. I'm, I definitely plan on doing a lot more 1x4s because they're smoother. You don't have to sand them down as much. They're almost perfectly sanded. They look like finished wood pieces where this, it's, it is what it is. It's a 2x4. So... If I were to do this over, I would try to do it with only one by fours and see how that goes. Okay. Um, put this up here. Now to turn this thing around. It is quite heavy. Oh. Gosh, and no matter how much I sand these, they still bite me every time I touch them. These two by fours. They're just full of splinters. And it worked. It's crap wood, man. I wish I still lived in Michigan and talked to work with the Amish. They make wood. They cut up wood and it's a lot cheaper. Better quality wood. Much better quality than this garbage. I think it's mostly rough hewn though. Which would work okay as furniture, maybe. I mean, I don't have a planer. My, my wife wants me to learn how to use a, use a plane. She said it would really... Her parents did it the old-fashioned way. It'd be a lot of work, and it probably help build up muscle. I'll have to consider that someday. You might hear some rustling, that's Phoebe, my ever faithful and whiny dog. Oh. Okay, down we go, maybe. Oh, I do have these staples in here. And believe it or not, they're holding a little bit. Let's see, needle nose pliers, needle nose pliers. So, you might have noticed that over here I had a whole bunch of uh, wrenches. Uh, crescent wrenches, well, I don't have enough room for these for my, uh, and now that I've got the, the clamps there. Well, I decided this is going to be the woodworker's bench, because this is what I do on this one. And I'm going to put another pegboard over to the other side, and I'll show you that. I'll have a video on reorganizing the garage, and what I've organized already, which the garage is so much more organized than it was when even a few months ago. Uh, if you are doing, um, if you're doing stuff like I am, I recommend getting pegboard. It is amazing what an organizing tool that pegboard is. It's incredible stuff. And you paint, if you paint it, it looks great. And then if you get really fancy, you can, uh, Take your Sharpie and mark the outline of all your tools, which I might do that once I get this settled, but I already moved all my monkey wrenches, and I'm going to put another piece of pegboard up to move them, to put them in a place. I'm going to have all my auto parts stuff, my auto working stuff, on another pegboard. This will be my woodworking pegboard. Yeah. It's, I'm sure you might have heard of feng shui. I didn't.